Uh, I want to visit with you something that I, I'm a little anxious about, quite frankly, mostly because I don't want you to take it as an instruction. I'm not suggesting you do this, even though I did do it. What I want it to be is maybe some intrigue and or demonstration of, here's the cliche, the lifetime value of a customer and what we should be maybe prepared to pay or do or engage in to secure that for a period of time, for an even longer period of time. It was an experiment that I began probably nine, ten years ago now. I wanted to build a nice, robust, growing, well above the level required customer base such that the requirements that were necessary at the time were met naturally without me having to stress out over PV, TV, GV, whatever the scenario was at the time. So I had this crazy idea. Why don't I build customers and then with each of them say something along the lines of, hey, Bob, you're buying this product from me, thank you. It's gonna be great for you. Here's what the results you're gonna, you're gonna feel. Here's what's gonna happen, like you and I have spoken about before. And I said, and if you do this consistently for three months, on the fourth month, I'm going to give you a 10% rebate. I'm going to write you a check, give you cash, send you a money order, whatever the case was back in those days, as a thank you from me. And then every month thereafter, I'm going to increase that by 10%. So on the fifth month, it'll be 20. On the sixth month, it'll be 30%. Such that after 15 months, you're going to get the product for free. But you've got to be consistent in ordering it. I want you to have the product, I want you to have the effect, I want to acknowledge your loyalty and consistency to me and the product by essentially increasing the discount such that it's free for you. What was the result of that? Well, the result of that is I was writing some checks to customers that grew over time. The result of that is those customers stayed on the product and quite naturally, the, de the, the de demonstrable value of the product was shared with those around them such that other people joined as distributors, members, associates, partners, whatever you want to call it, and customers. They didn't get the same deal. Only those original ones that I needed to help me get to where I wanted to go. In fact, I still, 10 years later, write a couple of checks to folks based on the orders they place, based on the promise I made way back when. Again, I'm not suggesting you do that. I'm not even sure if it was the smart thing to do at the time or since. I mean, I confess, writing those checks from time to time for $80 or $100 and the hassle of it, not so much the money, does kind of bother me a little bit. But I keep doing it nevertheless. What it's taught me, just so you know, I have now received tens of thousands of dollars of volume born out of significantly less amount of money that I've had to spend to support that. The lifetime value of, their, of those customers and the business that they generated through their consistency and loyalty has been good for the end, the end of the line person, good for them certainly, and great for me. Notwithstanding, I'm the one writing some checks from time to time as they place their orders. Again, don't do that. I'm not suggesting you do that. If you want to, you're, you're welcome to. It certainly works. But the value to me has been inordinate compared to the amount of money I had to write a check for. The value to those other people in using the products and being a benefit of the product and those who they shared it with that also use the products. It's a factor of probably eight or nine, I think, of people introduced to me and what we do through those people that as you can see the algebra would easily make those checks I write more than affordable. It's taught me the lifetime value of a customer and the long tail of their consumption and the residual effects of them using, consuming, getting the effect of and sharing the effect of the products that we have. An illustration of the lifetime value of a customer not of some gimmick that I thought up in some crazy moment in order to build my TV to a level that was natural and comfortable, which then allowed me to focus on a whole bunch of other things to build my business more rapidly. Give it some thought. Think through the principles that underscore that and how they're operative or could be operative in your life and your business.